Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my reaction video and I will be kicking it off by giving you guys the two teams and I will be starting off with the Brighton and Hove Albion starting 11 and let's just get straight into it. So according to One Football, they have gone with a 3-4-1-2 and I think I will be able to confirm that during the match but anyways in terms of the personnel in which um, Graham Potter has fielded or chosen, shall I say, to correct myself, he's gone with Matt Ryan and goal, and I don't know the first names of all the outfield players, so I'm just going to read out their surnames. Um, Graham Potter has gone with a back three of um, White, Webster and Dunk. He's gone with a midfield five from right to left, including the wingbacks of Lamptey, Lalana, Basuma, Alzate and March, and he's gone with a strike partnership of Mope and Trossard. Now for the Chelsea team, again starting off with the formation. According to one football, it is a 4 3 3, but with um, the players Frank Lampard has chosen, I'm not entirely sure if it is a 4 3 3, but we'll have to see when the match kicks off. Um, but he has gone with Kepper in goal. He's gone with a back four from right to left of Reese James, Andres Christensen, Kurt Zuma, and Marcos Alonso. He's gone with a midfield three of Jorginho, Engolo Kante, and Ruben Loftus Cheek. And that is the part that makes me wonder if it's a 4 3 3 or a 4 2 3 1. And he's gone with a front three from right to left of Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, and Mason Mount. Now for the two benches and Starting off with the Brighton and Hove Albion bench again. I don't know the names of all. I don't know all the first names of the players on the bench. So I'm just going to read out the surnames, and I might as well just do so um, for both sets of players on the bench. But anyways, um, Graham Potter has placed Stevens, Connolly, Gross, Johan Bash, Steele, Byrne, and Veltman on the bench for the Seagulls, and Frank Lampard has placed Rudiger, Barkley, Abraham, Caballero, Giroud, Hudson Odoi, and Aspilicueta on the bench. For the Blues. Now for the recap of the two starting 11s, starting off with the Brass and Hove Albion starting 11. A 3 4 1 2 for them. Again, I'll, I'll, I should be able to confirm that um, when the match kicks off or during the match. They've gone with Ryan and Gold. They've gone with a back three of White, Webster, and Dunk. They've gone with a midfield five, including the wing backs from right to left of Lamptey, Lalana, Basuba, Alzate, and March. And they've gone with a front two of Mope and Trossard. Now for the Chelsea team again. 4-3-3 for us or possibly a hybrid again I should be able to confirm that during the course of the match or at the start of the match we'll see but um, Frank Lampard has gone with Kepa in goal he's gone with a back four from right to left of Rhys James, Andres Christensen, Kurt Zuma and Marcos Alonso he's gone with a middle three of Jorginho, Engolo Kante and Ruben Loftus-Cheek and he's gone with a front three from right to left of Kai Havertz, Timo Werner and Mason Mount this is going to be a tough one but that is a lot of attacking prowess on on the, that let me rephrase that or let me start again that that should be or that looks like a lot of attacking prowess on um guys i'm i'm really nervous that's why i'm acting this that's that's why i'm acting rather erratically but yes it looks like a very strong team for us i do expect this to be i do expect this to be a close game but hopefully we come out on top. But anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this part of the video. And I really do hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. So um, please do let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I hope you will enjoy the match as much as I, I, I hope I do as well. But anyways, that's it for this part of the video. Just get the job done and hopefully we'll see a riot in East Sussex. Come on, Chelsea. Just over 11 minutes have been played and I have to be honest with you guys and say that Brighton have made a confident start to the match. They've been doing quite a bit of attacking, but they've not had too many chances to show for it. As for us, we've had a few offsides and rightly so in terms of the decision making, but not too many chances in the first 11 minutes of the match. It's Brighton and Hope Albion nil. It's Chelsea one. Jorginho puts the ball into the back of the net from the penalty spot after Timo Werner won the penalty after going down in the box after um, Matt Ryan brought it brought him down. 
expertly taken penalty again I'll say it again his penalties make me nervous but we, we take the lead in East Sussex and I'm not going to lie to you guys it has been against the run of play but I'll take it we lead by one goal to none there are less than five minutes plus additional time left at the end of the first half and I have to be honest with you guys again since the penalty in which Jorginho converted it's pretty much been the same um, Bryson and Hove Albion have been causing us all sorts of problems and we've done next to no attacking and therefore created next to no chances but yeah we still need 1-0 and there's not a lot left of the first half we're into four minutes of additional time at the end of the first half and to be honest it's not been the best but it's certainly not been the worst I've seen a lot worse from us and of course we lead by one goal to nil but that could change um, that could still change but we'll just have to see <laughs> ah. Timo Werner has won Chelsea their first corner of the match which will be taken on the left hand side I'm not sure by who but um, we do have a corner which will be taken on the left hand side and please can we just make the most of it before half time come on it's half time it's Brighton and Hove Albion nil it's Chelsea 1 I'll say it again, not the best not the best first half, but certainly not the worst. We haven't done a lot of attacking and I hope that changes in the second half, but I will see you all very soon for the second half. The second half has just begun. Come on you blues, keep it tight at the back, string some passes together, score some more goals and get the win. Come on Chelsea. Just over 52 minutes have been played and again I'll be honest with you it's pretty much been the same as it was for the majority of the first half. Brighton and Hove Albion have just been swarming at us and creating chances and we really have struggled to get out of our own half. Hopefully this doesn't continue. It's Brighton and Hove Albion 1, it's Chelsea 1, Leandro Trossard scores from outside the box and you cannot say that Brighton and Hove Albion haven't deserved it, they have been the better side for large, part, for large parts of this game, if not all of the game so far and I fear for this team right now because defensively we look, we look very shaky and offensively we look non-existent, um, it's 1-1. One, one. And just like that, Chelsea retake the lead through an absolute bullet of a shot from Rhys James. It was from 25 yards out. Matt Ryan had absolutely no chance of saving it. Um, that's what we need to do. Just, just please just go forward more. Just go forward and get at these players. But yes, Chelsea have retaken the lead. It's Brighton and Hove Albion 1. It's Chelsea 2. What a bullet from Rhys James. Wow. Chelsea's first substitution of the match sees Ruben Loftus Cheek go off for Ross Barkley. 65 minutes in, and Rhys James has won their first corner on the right hand side and their first corner, corner in the second half. And I think he himself will be taking it. It would be nice if we could get a third goal from this. Come on. And finally, we make the most of a corner. It's Brighton and Hove Albion 1, it's Chelsea 3. Kurt Zuma slots the ball into the back of the net, albeit with the help of a deflection, but I really don't care, especially with the way we've been playing for large parts of this game. And yeah, that's his first goal of the season. And yeah, we need by three goals to one. Is that the game done? Maybe. More goals, please. But yes, Chelsea lead by three goals to one. Timo Werner has a chance to make it 4-1 to the Blues and his shot is blocked but he has won Chelsea another corner on the right hand side which Rhys James will take. Can we get a fourth? Let's hope so. Chelsea's second substitution of the match is Callum Hudson going come on for Kai Havertz and yes he hasn't done a lot in this game but it's his first ever game in the Premier League and I did say that it will take these it will take these players time to gel and fully adjust to the competitive nature of the Premier League. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna slate him for his for his performance because he didn't do too much wrong but he didn't do too much. But yes, Callum Hudson-Odoi has come on for Kai Havertz. Chelsea's third and final substitution of the match sees Cesar Azpilicueta come on for Jorginho and I believe that is a formation change. And in addition to this, there are less than two minutes plus additional time left at the end of the match. We are into four minutes of additional time at the end of the match.
It's full time. The final score is Brighton Hove Albion 1, Chelsea 3. What a game that was. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We didn't start off too well, but as the game went on, we grew into it. And yes, we still need to um, tighten up, particularly at the back, but that will come with time. And the new signings will take time to gel. And I really hope they gel. Um, but yeah. Good win, some decent goals scored as well, I mean that Reese James goal, what a goal that was. Um, but yeah, I will see you all very soon for my review.